Hi there, I'm Frank from the City of Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the family mode of the Isle of Cats, and also how to set it up. So, grab your box, open it up, and let's get started. The first thing you're going to find is inside the box there are two different rule books. We have the larger rule book, and we also have a single sheet. The family mode only needs the single sheet, so keep this to one side and you can discard the other rule book. You're also going to need to set up the discovery bag the first time you play. So grab the bag and then take all of the different colored cats. So you're going to want to take the red cats, the blue cats, the purple cats, the orange cats and the green cats and you're going to put all of these inside the bag. You're also going to take all of the rare treasures which are the larger golden treasures and put those into the bag too. You are not going to put the white cats in them, these are not used for the family version, and you're also going to not put in the common treasures, which are the smaller bronze coloured treasures, but you'll put these to the side because you are going to need these in a minute. Once you've set up the bag, you're going to store all of the tiles in this bag, so you'll never have to do this again, so just put it somewhere you can reach as we're playing the game. The next thing you're going to want to do is take the island board and place this in the centre of the table or in the central place where all players can reach. You'll notice in the bottom left corner there is a green cat. If you have it on the other side there is a red cat and this is the standard game so please make sure you are using the green cat side. You're then going to take the Vesh bow icon and you're going to place this onto the five track. This represents the evil armies of Vesh who are heading towards the island and they're going to be here in five days days. It is up to us to rescue all of the cats before they turn up. Now we're going to go back to those common treasures and we're going to add them below the island in a number equal to the number of players that we're using. So if you check the family rule sheet you will see here it says use 5 of each tile for 2 player, 8 for 3 player and 11 for 4 player. So we're going to grab some of these tiles and we're going to stick 5 of them below here because we're going to be playing a 2 player game. There are 4 different types of common treasures, there are the straight 2 squares, the corner 3 squares, the straight three squares and then also the single one square tiles. So we've placed five of those and now we're ready to get started. Each player is going to want to take a boat board and they're going to put this in front of them. Again notice that there is a red cat symbol on one side and on the other side there is a green cat symbol. We want to make sure that all players are using the green cat symbol side because this is what is used for the family version. Finally, you can see that there are some reference cards. These are only needed if you have a player who has trouble seeing the difference between some colours. These are an aid that just help them identify them, but they're not needed for most people. They're just there as an assistance aid for people who do need them. You're going to want the family cards, which you're going to just put to the side for one minute. And then you're also going to want the score pad and pencil for the end of the game, but we're not going to need those now. There's one last thing we need to do before we get started. Each player needs to choose their favourite colour and they're going to grab one of the cats of that colour and place it onto the turn order track. At the start of the game this is simply done randomly so each player will choose. We've got the red and the purple player. We're going to shake them up. We're going to take one at random and put it at the top of the island. The second place is going to be in the next slot and this has room all the way down for up to six players if you have the late arrivals expansion that allows you to play the family mode with more people. We've now got everything we need to play. All of these other bits we're not going to need so I'm just going to put these to one side for now. We are going to play over five different rounds and on each round we are going to rescue cats and add them to our boat. We are going to be trying to fill space, cover rats but also we are going to be working towards these lesson cards. So you will remember we have got the 18 green backed family cards which we took at the start and we are now going to shuffle these and give three cards to each player. They are going to be placed face down in front of them. And in a two player game of course we're going to have two piles of three, the rest of the cards we put to one side. Then each player is going to look at their cards and they are going to choose two which they would like to keep. And these are going to be private goals that allow them to score extra points at the end of the game. In this example we've got nine points if you've got exactly five red cats on your boat, two points per treasure on your boat and two points per visible rat on your boat. Personally I really like the red cats and this is why I chose the red cat colour and I'm also a big fan of treasure. So 
Well, rats are always fun. I'm going to discard this card and I'm going to keep these two. And each player is going to look at their cards. They're going to discard one and keep two. And these will be placed face down next to their board. They can look at them at any time should they wish, but no other player will know what they've got. We're now ready to actually begin playing the game. And on each day, you will see there is a round tracker on the top right of your boat to help you. The first thing we're going to do is place four cats per player around the island. So we're going to take our discovery bag, we're going to reach in, and we're going to grab four cats. Each cat is going to just be placed around the island. Where it gets put doesn't matter, so just make sure that all players can see them. And as we're playing a two-player game, we're going to end up putting eight cats down. However, sometimes you might find that you actually draw out a rare treasure, and these don't count as cats because they're treasures. So we simply put these down by the other common treasures and we keep going until we've still got our eight cats. We've currently got six cats, so we're gonna draw two more and this is gonna bring us up to eight. If we were to draw another rare treasure, we simply would have added it to the piles and we'd continue drawing cats. With the eight cats out, again, four per player, we can now move on to rescue cats until there are no more cat tiles or all players have passed. In turn order, players are going to take it in turns to choose a cat to rescue and place it onto their boat. We're the red player, so we're going to go first, and we're simply going to take this blue cat here, and we're going to place it somewhere on our boat. The first tile can go absolutely anywhere we choose, as long as it's within the grid lines and it is not on the edge of the boat so this would be absolutely fine because it's inside the edge but we couldn't put it here because it's slightly out of the boat you can put them over rats you can put them over treasure maps you can rotate them and flip them however you wish and in this example we may say let's put this cat down here in this corner the first cat, as I say, can go anywhere. We've now taken our cat. It's the other player's turn. They're going to choose a cat, and they're also going to place it onto their boat. So we'll just put that one here just to represent this player has taken that cat. It's back to us, and now we can choose another cat. Now, it's in your interest to work towards your goals, and if you remember, our goals were to get exactly five red cats and two points for each treasure. It's also in your interest to keep coloured cats together because you'll score points based on having families which are three or more cats of the same colour that are touching. With that in mind, we're going to take a blue cat. Now, you'll see on your boat there are five different treasure maps. And if you put a cat on a treasure map that is the same colour, so a blue cat on a blue treasure map, a purple cat on a purple treasure map, a green cat on a green treasure map, and so on, then you may take one of the common treasures, or rare treasures if there are any, and then immediately place that on your boat for free as a bonus. You can put other cats over the treasure maps, but in those instances, you won't get the bonus bonus treasure. So, in this instance, we're going to look to put this cat over this blue treasure map. Now, this works really well, because after your first tile, every other cat you put onto your boat has to be touching a previously placed piece. So, we can't put this over here anymore, because it wouldn't be touching. Touching is at least one side touching the edge of another side. Diagonals do not count. So we may put this one here, which would be touching, and you'll also notice we're putting a blue cat over the blue treasure map up, which means we can take one of the treasures. We could take this one by one piece here, we could place it over this little rat to fill this gap here, and now we're going to get two points at the end of the game because we've got a treasure on our boat. Players are going to continue going, taking it in turns to take cats and putting them onto their boat. Players may choose to pass, and if they pass, they will no longer take any cats for that round, but all the other players will continue going until they have taken all of the cats they wish and placed them onto their board. In theory, each player will get four cats each round, but if someone passes, you may get more or you may get less. Once all of the cats are gone, you move on to the next round. You move the boat along one space to represent Vesh getting closer. Whoever was on first place will go to the bottom and everyone else will move up. So in this case, second will become first and first will become second. If there are more players, everyone moves up one space and then 
We go back to the bag, we take out more cat tiles, we put any rare treasures we get at the bottom, and we go again. We do this five times, and at the end of the game, we're then going to add up our points. So we get our score pad and our pencil, and we can see in the bottom left corner here, it tells us how we score points. We will get minus one point for every rat that is still visible on our boat. So it's really important we cover as many rats as possible. We're going to get minus four five points for each room on our boat that has not been filled and you will see that each room has different icons in the corners to help you identify them and they also have walls around them if you need help identifying them then you can also see them in the rule book and they're clearly demonstrated and outlined there too there are seven rooms in total Finally, you are going to score points for every cat family you have, and you'll see here there are families, and it says 3 equals 8, so 3 blue cats which are touching, connected on our boat is going to score us 8 points. If we had a 4th blue cat, we would get 11 points, and it continues all the way. Once you get to 10 cats, that's 40 points, and every additional cat is another 5 points on top, and there's a reminder for that in the rule book. Finally, players are going to score their lesson cards, so we would reveal all of our cards and I would get nine points if I've got exactly five red cats and I would get two points for each treasure that's on my boat. Each player adds up the points, whoever's got the most is going to be the winner. In the case of a tie, whoever's filled the most rooms on their boat will be the winner and if it's still a tie then you've all won. That is the tie players of course because anyone else they're not going to be the winner. I hope this has helped you learn the game. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on adventuring.